Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my channel. So I've got a question here today. The question is how to get a programming job without experience for high school students. Okay, so how do you get a programming job if you're still in high school or when you're finishing high school and now you want a programming job but you, but you, don't, but you don't have any prior working experience in programming? Or, like you know how to code, uh, like you know how to code and how to program, but you don't have any work experience. Um, yes. Okay. So how do you get a job then if you don't have any work experience and you're still in high school? Like you haven't, you haven't gone to varsity, so you haven't studied anything. You, you, you don't have any diplomas. You don't have any certifications. Okay. So the first thing I like to, I like to, I would like to suggest to you guys is to make a personal website like your name is basically a brand when you go to apply for a job you are basically basically trying to sell yourself you are the product or you are the service you are still the service and trying to sell a service to the client which is the company so you must basically see yourself as a brand as a product or as or as a service and you must try and sell yourself so that is why you must have a personal website. So learn how to program in HTML, CSS, uh, PHP, JavaScript, or you can even go onto WordPress and make a simple WordPress website. But it, but it is very important to have a personal website. So the first thing you must do is create a personal website, personal website for yourself, and get a proper domain for it. Um, if you if you don't have any money, ask your parents to borrow you some money or to pay for a domain. Um, in in South Africa, I can get a .co .z a .z a domain um, at Afri Host for twenty nine rand a month. That is like what, uh, one or two USD dollars USD um, per month, which is flipping cheap, eh? So yes, get get so number one, get a personal website for yourself. Um, on the website, you must have basic things like um, you can have a home page. Just some simple stuff on it. Um, I'll link my own website down in the description. You can go have a look. My website is seanresult.com. Okay? So you have a simple home page. You must have an about, a contact page. Um, and if you have if you have published any apps, which is the next thing I'll talk about. So you must have a place where they can look up your apps and view your apps. And that's basically it. Like four pages is the minimum you must have on your website. Even a blog, a blog. You must also have a blog. Uh, if you have time, if you, if you don't have time, make time. Okay, you must have a blog. Um, talk about things you are passionate. In this case, I hope those things are programming because you're going to be applying for a programming job. Okay, so number one, have a personal website. Number two, self-publish apps. You must self-publish apps. Um, okay, if you're applying for a web development company. You're not going to be making apps, but there are ways to turn your websites into apps. So definitely turn the turn the, turn the websites you're making into apps, so you can publish those apps. So yes, um, publish apps because when you go to apply for a job program for a programming job, you can actually go there and show them, hey guys, look, I've made these apps. You can go download the apps on the Windows Store or the Play Store, or iStore, or iStore or whatever store. Um, you can, even pop up, you can even publish games. It doesn't have to be apps. You can even publish pub, publish websites. Like if you are going to be applying for a web development company or a, a web design, then I mean, instead of instead of publishing apps, you can show them websites you have made, but also turn those websites into an app. Okay, so it's very important to publish apps because it shows them that you are passionate about it, about it, about it. So passionate that you have already published published your own apps. And, and again, if you don't have any money for um, the developer accounts, ask your parents. Uh, I'm sure they, well, most parents, I assume, would be more than happy to give you money to help you further your career and actually be be successful in your future career. So, like, they, they're busy, busy paying for your school um, fees because they want you to have a successful career. So, I'm, I'm assuming most parents, if they understand this, they will also give you money for a developer account so that, so that you can self-publish your apps or host your websites, okay? Uh, if you're making a bunch of um, uh, small websites, then don't get a domain for all of them. Um, get one domain and like have subfolders, something like that for it, or even sub-host them in a subdomain, something like that on your personal website. 
um, it would just be cheaper. Okay, so number one, have a personal website. Number two, um, self-publish apps or websites in this case, in some other cases. Okay. So what is number three? Number three is you, is you don't you don't have any um, prior work experience. So how do you get any prior work experience? So that so, so that is by self-publishing apps. Um, but there is a different way also I would like to talk about. Um, this way is basically to create a company. Um, the company is going to be your own company and you're going to be making apps and websites via this company. Because when you go and apply for a job, um, you, you, you don't have to tell the employer that you made this company. You could just tell them that um, you worked for this company because you, because you you are not lying. You are telling the truth. You you did work for this company, even though you create you created the company. You are the one working for it as well. So you can create a simple company like, like what I did when I was fifteen years old. I create I created a company, and I self and I self published like over ten apps um um from this company. And when I went and searched for my first um, job for someone else, I showed them, hey, look, I worked for this company and we made this apps, these apps. And that landed me my first programming job thanks to the work experience I gained from my own company. So make a company for yourself, create, create a website for that company and then publish apps and websites via that company. Um, because then you can go to them, hey look, I work for this company, I made these apps while working there and I can even show you the source code if you don't believe me. Um, I, I, I don't assume they will, they'll be asking for that, but yeah, you have that to show. So guys, um, I forgot to add this one, so I'm just quickly um, filming this on my computer. But basically, there is also a fourth one. Um, so if you don't have, like you, like you are still currently in high school, which means you, you don't have any certifications or any, or any diplomas, you haven't gone to college or varsity yet. Um, but there are still ways to get certifications while still in high school. Certifications that some companies actually even like take into account. So you can go onto these websites. Here I have Linda, ach not Linda, I have Udemy.com, I have Linda.com, I have Udacity.com, I have Can Academy, and I have Skillshare. So these so these websites um teach you many different things. I haven't used um Skillshare or Linda.com yet before. I've le I've heard about them. Um, I've tried out Udacity. I've tried out Khan Academy, and I've tried out Udemy. Udemy is my favorite. Like, let's for instance, you're going to be applying for a company that is study that, that works with with websites. So you can simply go here. You can search for web development. And you can find a course here, for instance, um, this web, web, web development bootcamp or any one of these courses. You can then buy these courses. You can even um, um, set a price to free. That is also free courses. Then you can um, complete these courses. And when, you, when you're done with, when, 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 you, when, when you are done with the courses, you actually get a certification. Like for instance, if I go here to my courses, um, let's go to my archived courses. And go to my, for instance, learn to program with Pascal course. It's a it's a set of of um, video tutorials, and you get you get a certification at the end. Like here, you can see I've already ha I have already received a certification for this course because I have completed it. And um, same goes for Linda and Udacity. Like you get a certification when you're done with the course. I think Udacity is like nano degrees, so this counts more if you have a. Um, so certification from Udacity, but yeah, here is yes, my certification. It's my certification. It just says I've completed the course. So yeah, definitely go onto the go onto the onto these websites and get yourself some cert some certifications, some mini, some small certifications such as from Udemy, Linda, Udacity, Can Academy, and Skillshare. Yes. So yes, guys, that's basically it for this video. I think those are the three main things. Um, you should be doing if you want to if you want to get a programming job whilst in high school. Other thing is you should not be afraid. Like when you go to apply for a job, don't be afraid. Just um, like what's the worst that can happen? They'll just say no, you're not getting a job, or they will ignore you. Yeah, yes, yes. The worst that will happen happen is they will ignore your email. So I think the best way to uh, apply for a job, a program, a programming job whilst in high school, 
is to go onto Google and Google or Bing. I okay, go to Google and Bing. Like, like I live in Bloemfontein. This is my city. So simply type in your city, Bloemfontein, and then type in um, software development or web development, and then Google should um throw you out um some companies in your city that does these things. They go onto the, onto their onto their websites, read about them, and then send them an um email and ask for a job. Now I want to talk about number four actually. Um, number four is let's say you want to apply to a company that has a certain. Let's say you want to apply to a company that makes um post systems. Um, post systems are those things you see. It's a point of sale. A point of sale system. And um, post system basically what um you use in pick and pay or in supermarkets when they scan the items and things. So let's say you want to apply for a company that does that. Then you must have self-published a post system or something similar like it's it, it's easier to get a job if you go to apply to a company and you can show them hey look um i've made these apps and you guys make those apps but i can also make those apps because i've made something similar to that so try and make something that that is similar to what that company is, is already making if you if you already know what company to go target okay another thing is when you apply for a job at a company um, I've, I've learned that the best way to do that is to um, send them an email. But when you send them an email, you must have a cover letter and you must, you must include your CV and you must include your website, your personal website. So if I was in your shoes now, then let's say I was back in school and I've already done um, all the things I've, I've said before. Like I, 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 have, I already have a personal website, I've self-published apps and maybe I've had my own company. I'm, I'm, I'm going to focus now on this, the self-publishing apps and the uh, website you see if i if i have already already done that and i want to apply to a company what i would do is i would go onto google i would um type in my city bloemfontein and i would search for let's say um software software development and then i would um go on to um let's say I, would, I would pick around 10 around 10 companies there i would um look through all of them um, i'm gonna focus on, on the first one right now let's say i'm picking, picking the i'm picking the first one yeah, I'll read through the through the website. I'll learn about them. I'll study them. I'll study them. I'm not just going to cold email them and just um like spam email painting companies. I'm going to actually um spend some time learning about that company. Okay, then then I'm going to go to the email. I'm going to get their email address. I'm going to go email them. Uh, if you have a proper domain, you can gonna you're going to go and email them from your proper email. In my case, which is me at seanrosal.com, you're going to email them from a Gmail account or anything like that. It's not wrong to do it, but it's better to have it from a more professional, personal website email. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna write a cover a cover letter similar to this. Like I, I'm gonna say, "Hi, my name is Sean Result. Um I'm gonna say I'm I'm 17 years old now. So in this case, I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend pretend I'm 17 years old. I'm grade 11. I'm finishing high school. I'm gonna say I'm grade 12. I'm grade 12. I'm gonna finish high school now. So I want the job when I'm done. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm, so I'm gonna make so I'm gonna email them. I'm gonna have a title or a subject. I'm gonna say something like um, a young guy looking for job opportunities. Okay. And then I'm gonna in in an email section. I'm gonna write and then they make them. them a cover letter. I'm gonna say something like, "Um, well, I, well, 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 I like, well, I like to be informal when I when I write emails, kind of. Okay, so I'm gonna say, "Hi, my name is Sean Result. Um, I'm 18 years old. I'm currently in grade 12 in this school. In this case, Jim Fisher. Um, I'm in Bloemfontein." And I am looking for a job opportunity at your company. Um, then you're gonna tell them. You can, you can tell them. You can tell them that you can, you can, you can, they can go to your. They can go to your website, and you can, you can link them to, to, directly to your about page where they can learn about you, and you can link them to your um, portfolio where they can see your apps. But in a cover letter, it's also explain um, them a bit about yourself. Like I would say, my passions are programming. And I really like programming. I've dedicated, I've dedicated um, a bunch of apps. You can go down. You can go. You can go find the apps at this link. Then you give them the link, and then in the cover letter, you must also include your CV. So I think this is the best way to email them. Um, you simply tell them about yourself, a, a brief description of yourself. You link them to your website, and you, you include your CV in the as an attachment um, to the email. You tell them why you want to work at the company 
Um, it's most of the time it will be because you like the company and because you're passionate about the things they do. Okay? And yes, guys. That's basically it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. If this video helped you in any way, then, then, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, share, and if you have, if you have any questions for me, then don't, then don't be afraid to ask me. You can email me on me at seanresult.com. So email me any question, and I'll see if I can maybe answer it for you guys. I'll either answer it um, personally via the email, or I'll make a video about it if I feel that um, it will be worth it for more people to see that. Okay, guys, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!